trans fat, heart disease and dementia. There are a number of dietary links between dementia and heart disease. Excessive sugar slash processed fructose, grains, and trans fat consumption are three factors that promote both. Not surprisingly, recent research has pointed out that heart disease also increases your odds of developing Alzheimer's disease, which is a serious and deadly form of dementia. According to the authors, vascular damage may predispose your brain to increased amyloid plaque buildup, which is a hallmark of this degenerative brain disease. Plaque buildup worsens with stiffer arteries, so preventing arterial plaque formation may be a critical factor in the prevention of dementia. For decades, saturated fats have been demonized as the cause of heart disease. The food industry, responding to such health concerns replaced saturated fats with trans fats, and a whole new market of low fat, but high sugar, foods was born. Americans' health has plummeted ever since, and millions have been prematurely killed by this mistake. Making matters worse, genetically engineered soy oil, which is a major source of trans fats, can oxidize inside your body, thereby causing damage to both your heart and your brain. Trans fat clogs your arteries, not saturated fat. As it turns out, saturated fat was never the culprit in heart disease. That assumption was based on flawed research, the conclusions of which were entirely erroneous. Drive Fred Kumro, author of Cholesterol is Not the Culprit, has researched fats and heart disease for eight decades, and he was the first researcher to identify which fats actually cause clogged arteries. Last December, the New York Times featured Dr. Kumro's research on fats, which shows that trans fats, found in partially hydrogenated vegetable oils, are to blame for rising heart disease rates. Dr. Kumro was the first to publish a scientific article on this association, back in 1957. Preliminary study findings presented at the American Heart Association's Scientific Sessions 2014 also reveal that trans fat is linked to a higher risk of memory impairment. The research, while unable to establish cause and effect, suggests trans fats may act as a pro-oxidant, contributing to oxidative stress that causes cellular damage. This is similar to drive Kumro's earlier findings, which show that vegetable oils oxidize when heated, and when oxidized cholesterol and trans fat enter into your LDL particles, they become destructive. About trans fats? Dr. Kumro, now 100 years old, is still an active researcher and writer. He published four papers in the past couple of years alone. Some of his most recent research shows that there are two types of fats in our diet responsible for the formation of heart disease. 1. Trans fat found in partially hydrogenated oil. Structurally, trans fats are synthetic fatty acids, 14 of them are produced during the hydrogenation process. They are not present in either animal or vegetable fats. Trans fats prevent the synthesis of prostacyclin, which is necessary to keep your blood flowing. When your arteries cannot produce prostacyclin, blood clots form, and you may succumb to sudden death. 2. Oxidized cholesterol forms when polyunsaturated vegetable oils, such as soybean, corn and sunflower oils, are heated. This oxidized cholesterol, not dietary cholesterol in and of itself, causes increased thromboxane formation, a factor that clots your blood. Two of Dr. Kumro's papers pertain to how these oils harden your arteries and play an important role in the development of atherosclerosis. As reported by the New York Times, the problem, Dr. Kumro, says, is not LDL, the bad cholesterol. What matters is whether the cholesterol and fat residing in those LDL particles have been oxidized. He contends that the high temperatures used in commercial frying cause inherently unstable polyunsaturated oils to oxidize, and that these oxidized fatty acids become a destructive part of LDL particles. Even when not oxidized by frying, soybean and corn oils can oxidize inside the body. You need saturated fats for healthy brain function. Our ancestral diet was very high in saturated fats and virtually void of sugar and non-vegetable carbohydrates. Today, not only do most of us eat excessive amounts of carbohydrates, these carbs are refined and highly processed. In the last decade, we've also shifted over to genetically engineered, GE, grains and sugar, GE sugar beets and corn, the long-term health effects of which have never been established. This mistake in fat phobia has undoubtedly played a significant role in the dramatic rise in dementia and other neurological disorders, because your brain cannot function properly without fats. In fact, 
Most people benefit from up to 50 to 85% of their daily calories in the form of fats for optimal health. For listing of healthy fats, see end of article, while they are seeking to resolve their insulin resistance. For comparison, the American Heart Association recommends limiting saturated fat to between 5 to 6% of total calories exclamation mark 9 there's no doubt in mind that this grossly suboptimal recommendation level is contributing to the poor health of Americans and promoting both heart disease and dementia while trans fat consumption decreased by about one third between 1980 to 2009 many are still getting far too much trans fat in their diet the problem is that it's oftentimes hidden even products boasting a zero trans fat label can contain trans fat, because food manufacturers are not required to list trans fat if it falls below a certain amount per serving. Using ridiculously tiny serving portion is a legal loophole that permits food manufacturers to mislead you about the trans fat in their products. As a general rule, to avoid trans fats, you need to avoid any and all foods containing or cooked in partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, so be sure to check the list of ingredients. Dietary Guidelines for Maintaining Healthy Brain Function When it comes to protecting your brain and preventing memory loss and dementia, your diet and lifestyle are your most important allies. As explained by neurologist Dr. David Perlmutter, author of the book, Grain Brain, Alzheimer's is a disease predicated primarily on lifestyle choices, the two main culprits being excessive sugar and gluten consumption. You want to be especially wary of genetically engineered ingredients, as they are heavily contaminated with glyphosate, a herbicide thought to be worse than DDT, and DDT has already been linked to the development of Alzheimer's. In terms of your diet and other lifestyle factors, the following suggestions may be among the most important for preserving your brain function as you age. Avoid sugar and refined fructose. Ideally, you'll want to keep your sugar levels to a minimum and your total fructose below 25 grams per day, or as low as 15 grams per day if you have insulin slash leptin resistance or any related disorders. Avoid gluten and casein, primarily wheat and pasteurized dairy, but not dairy fat, such as butter. Research shows that your blood-brain barrier is negatively affected by gluten. Gluten also makes your gut more permeable, which allows proteins to get into your bloodstream, where they don't belong that then sensitizes your immune system and promotes inflammation and autoimmunity, both of which play a role in the development of Alzheimer's. Optimize your gut flora by regularly eating fermented foods or taking a high-potency and high-quality probiotic supplement. Increase consumption of all healthy fats, including animal-based omega-3. Healthy fats that your brain needs for optimal function include organically raised grass-fed meats, coconut oil, olives and olive oil, avocado, nuts, organic pastured egg yolks, and butter made from raw grass-fed milk. High intake of the omega-3 fats CPA and DHA are also helpful for preventing cell damage caused by Alzheimer's disease, thereby slowing down its progression, and lowering your risk of developing the disorder. Most margarine and butter substitutes are not good sources of healthy fats. Reduce your overall calorie consumption, and or intermittently fast until insulin resistance resolves. Ketones are mobilized when you replace carbs with coconut oil and other sources of healthy fats. Intermittent fasting is a powerful tool to jumpstart your body into remembering how to burn fat and repair the inulin slash leptin resistance that is also a primary contributing factor for Alzheimer's. Improve your magnesium levels. Preliminary research strongly suggests a decrease in Alzheimer symptoms with increased levels of magnesium in the brain. Eat a nutritious diet, rich in folate. Vegetables, without question, are your best form of folate, and we should all eat plenty of fresh raw veggies every day. Avoid supplements like folic acid, which is the inferior synthetic version of folate. Exercise regularly. It's been suggested that exercise can trigger a change in the way the amyloid precursor protein is metabolized, thus, slowing down the onset and progression of Alzheimer's. Exercise also increases levels of BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor and a protein PGC1-alpha. Research has shown that people with Alzheimer's have less PGC1-alpha in their brains and cells that contain more of the protein produce less of the toxic amyloid protein associated with Alzheimer's. Avoid and eliminate mercury from your body. Dental amalgam fillings, which are 50% mercury by weight, are one of the major sources of heavy metal toxicity, however you should be healthy prior to having them removed. Avoid and eliminate aluminum from your body, 
sources of aluminum include antiperspirants, non-stick cookware, vaccine adjuvants, etc. Avoid flu vaccinations as most contain both mercury and aluminum, well-known neurotoxic and immunotoxic agents. Avoid anticholinergics and statin drugs. Drugs that block acetylcholine, a nervous system neurotransmitter, have been shown to increase your risk of dementia. These drugs include certain nighttime pain relievers, antihistamines, sleep aids, certain antidepressants, medications to control incontinence, and certain narcotic pain relievers. Statin drugs are particularly problematic because they suppress the synthesis of cholesterol, deplete your brain of coenzyme Q10 and neurotransmitter precursors, and prevent adequate delivery of essential fatty acids and fat-soluble antioxidants to your brain by inhibiting the production of the indispensable carrier biomolecule known as low-density lipoprotein.